Hi, this is Heather with KeepItSimpleSocialMedia.com, and I am looking at your business page, Wonderful Healthy Habits. I love your page. I will be following you, and I will be using all your tips and tricks. And I know hundreds of people that would love you as well. So congratulations on a wonderful page. You've uh, got over 30 likes, so you have your metrics working for you. So you can see where your audience is coming from. You can see the gender, the age, which helps with the message that you can write in your post. So you're well on your way to a really successful business page. There's a couple of things that uh, I noticed um, I don't know where you're from. I don't know what product you might be selling down the road. I guess when you finish school is what I read in your about. But um, so I don't know that you need to have a geographic location. Uh, what I just wanted to show you was every time you put a message on Facebook, it goes out to your followers and sends this little business card. And your business card has no call to action um, right here on this part. Uh, that's your profile business picture. I'll go back up here. This is where you need to have some type of information so I know how to find you. Uh, perhaps your website. You should even try to put your website in your about section because most people never go and look at your information tab, which is down here they'd have to click here and then they could go to your website but quite honestly most people do not do this so you have to keep it um, as simple and easy as possible so a website in your about section and I'm just going to take you over to my page here and show you subliminally how um, I've added oh goodness sorry about that how I've added my phone number because I need people to phone me to book appointments. I need them to go to my website. Um, so I've added all these ways to keep it really quick and simple and easy. Um, while I'm on my page, I want to show you that you can put Pinterest as a tab on your Facebook business page. And I don't know if you're using Pinterest yet, but this would be absolutely perfect for your message, your product your recipes, your pictures, um, all your ideas that you're going to have with uh, this page that you're creating. So I'm going to go back to your business page, Wonderful Healthy Habits, there we are. Um, and that's where they would go, right here in your tabs. You cannot change your photo, but you can add up to 14 different tabs on your page. Um, and you can um, customize them as well. So I'm going to click on your health insurance and I'm going to show you that right here on the right hand side, it doesn't show in this video, but yours will have a button that says description. And I would recommend that you uh, fill that description in and I'm just going to give you a little example of that right now. If I click on my picture, which is the cover image, you notice I've got a description here and I have a lead to my website and you want to try to do that as often as possible because you own your website but you do not own Twitter, you do not own Facebook, so you want to um, always drive traffic to your website and I bet you your website's fabulous too. Um, so there's a couple of tips um, for you. I'm going to scroll back down the page and go back over to your business page and just see if I can give you anything else. Um, we need to get people engaging on your page. They need to share your information, they need to write comments, and they need to click your like button so we can build your um, engagement, uh, your talking about. And your talking about will then spread more virally and it will get you more likes to your page. Um, your posting is okay. If you post every day is just fine. Um, you've got great message. I'm, I don't know why people are not talking to you at this point, but uh, we need to keep working on that because you do have uh, your talking about is working. 
uh, and it's very good actually. You're you're doing really well on it. 16 is not a bad number at all. They say about five percent is a normal talking about, and and so you're doing very good. And I hope that these few tips help you out. Oh, I had one more I wanted to share with you. Your likes. When I was looking at your likes, um, you like a lot of really good, healthy pages that probably have hundreds and thousands of followers. But I'm wondering if you've actually gone out and liked any local businesses in your community. And I don't just mean healthy businesses in your community. You want this healthy message that you're sending to get to people that need to improve their health. So you have to think of where these people are hanging out. What business pages have they liked? Because what you're going to learn to do is to cross-pollinate uh, your marketing because every business page has what's known as a news feed that is only filled with business pages. You click your home button in the top right corner and as you see, there we have nothing but business pages feeding into my newsfeed. And what you're going to do is you're going to add a little comment, okay? A special shrimp and rice enchilada. There. Oh, yummy. So I'm just going to say yummy. And post. Now I want to show you why you do this. If I clicked on Gina's Mexican Cafe that's here in Nanaimo, she's got a good amount of people that have liked her page. Her talking about is working just fabulous. And if I scroll down her page just a little bit to the posting that she just made, lo and behold, there is my business card on Gina's wall. And I never went to her wall and posted. I posted in her comment section on a posting that she made that I found in my new feed. And that is okay to do. And that spreads your business card around the World Wide Web. Always check your spelling. And boom. And so once again, we go over to Michelle's page. She's just created it. She's got some excellent talking about happening. She's got over 400 likes on her page. And if we just scroll down the page, you can see, click on the pictures, you can see Keep It Simple Social Media Business Card is there. She's a wonderful photographer, hey? Right? Okay, so this is Heather. I hope that these tips help you. You are uh, creating a phenomenal page, and I look forward to reading all your posts. This is Heather. Let's keep it simple.